I'm Amanda Stretton and I've worked in motorsport for over 25 years. I've even raced cars, but this time I've decided to come and find out how to change a tyre on a Formula E car. And I've been joined by Rachel Patterson from Penske Dragon Racing. Now you are not a stranger to Formula E, are you? You've been here for some time. Yeah, I'm on my fourth, fourth year now in Formula E. So explain what it is that you do then when you get to a racetrack. So I'm in charge of looking after the tyres. I'll do all my measurements for the engineers, um, weigh them all, make sure that, again, I'm happy with them, that they've all been balanced correctly and then mark them up so that they're all in their sets good to go for the weekend. So it's quite a compl complex job. First of all, we're going to talk about what the tyres look like because when people think about racing car tyres, they often think of slicks. Mm. Formula E tyres are very different, aren't they? Yes, essentially they are a, a car tyre that they can be used in the wet so we don't have individual tyres for if it's raining. They are an all-round uh, tyre that can be used in all weathers. So even though this is a racing car, it's going to be, in principle, much the same as changing the tyres on a road car. And it's important that you think about the job that you've got to do and the sequence you do it in, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So obviously the first job is the car has to come off the floor, take the wheel nut off with the wheel gun. It's a simple centre hub, so on your everyday road car, you have your locking wheel nut and that will go and do five or six. This one is just one, one hub and take the wheel off, put your new wheel back on, and again, do the wheel nut up, drop the car to the floor and good to go. So first point of when the car comes in for a pit stop, um, the mechanics all have their own individual jobs that they're doing. But when the car comes in, the first thing to do is get the car lifted off the floor with this will be the front jack. So that'll go straight under the nose. The car's lifted off the floor. So you've got your wheel gun. Take your wheel off, replace it with a fresh one, put your wheel nut back on and then the car will be dropped to the floor. So Rachel, what are the key tools that you need when you're changing the wheel on a racing car? So as I said, the first thing the car needs to come off the floor and the equipment that we all use. So you've got the front jack that will go under the front of the car uh, and then you've got the rear jack that will fit under the rear crash structure. So the car can be lifted up essentially all together at one, especially during a pit stop. Uh, and then we've got the wheel gun, which again, rotation to take it off and to go forward. And that's how you put it on and take it off your wheel nut. I've certainly learned loads about how they change the wheel on a racing car. Now these are things that you can also try at home, obviously not on a racing car. But what I suggest you do is have a look at any of the cars that you can, that you can have access to. Have a look and see if you can find where the spare wheel is located and the tools that are in the car and then see if you can work out how you would be changing the wheel. And don't forget to let us know.